Okay, we want to know how to create proper subdomains. And let me tell you what I mean, because it just makes everything stronger. So let me just show you an example. Your site colon moji-samples.com. And I have recently had to take a ton of pages off this site because it was too many. Hostmaster was saying, please slow down. And I said, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, here's the point. Right now, I mean, Google is indexing these things. It counts the main page. It counts this flight sim folder, the main page there. It counts the main page here. It's counting tons of pages. It's 3,040 anyway. It's counting a lot of them. Okay, but I have these individual projects. Now, if you want to make these stronger for Google, if you want the scores to be higher, then instead of this kind of a link, you really want this to happen. You want to see this. Instead of www.moji-samples.com, you want a section to say this, flight-sim.moji-samples.com. No www. This is a misconception. You cannot do this. Okay? That's too many dots. <laughs> so it would just be flight sim, and that would be a section of the website devoted to that particular folder, right? So that points there. Cut. All right? And that's where it's going to point. But this is the sort of thing we want to do. Same thing with everything else. I got family dentist, Austin roofing, website marketing, custom aquariums, winter guard roofing, loan modification. I want everything like that. Maybe I would have a um, custom aquariums. And it doesn't have to be the same name of the folder. Let me give you an example. Okay. I want something to point in there. Actually, let me do it this way. Pum. Control C. Control V. Aha, except I wanted to say flight sim, but I don't need it to say custom dash aquariums. I could just have it say aquariums and it would still point into that same folder. How do we do that? We just set the relationship up inside our host monster control panel. So that's the idea. So let me just log in. Again, please, if you get a host monster account or another host monster account or another host monster account, please come through our link on moji-crew.com. Okay. Whenever you get a host monster account, please go to the resources link and then hit it here. That really just helps support what we do, and that's the best way that we can support you back. Okay. It's just our best way to help you out. If you can help us out, we help you out. You do for us, we do for you. All this development we do is funded by you guys. That's why it all works. So anyway, we like to keep working away so you can trust that we'll always be teaching and showing you new things. And that's what we do. Okay, so how do you set that up? Log in. Let's do this. Host monster. And let me go with, um, well, let me see. One of the websites that we set up here. I want to cancel out of that. It's always thinking that's what I want to do next, even though it isn't. <laughs> all right, so it's going to log me in. I don't need to get started now or anything like that. No, thanks. I'm fine. Remember my decision. I know what I'm doing. This is not my first account. All right, take a look at this. Subdomains. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to create a subdomain on Moji Pro or Moji Dash Pro. So you can do it however you want. Moji Pro is the main one. Let me start there. And my subdomain is going to be what? And let's go look again just to make sure we know what we're doing. All right. We have building websites and internet advertising. I can even copy this thing. Rename. I'm pretending to rename so I can copy it. And that way I can minimize this. And I can put it here. And I can put it here. And it got it. It figured that out. I could overwrite this. You know, it, whatever you put in here, it's going to copy here. But maybe you want it to go to a different folder that you had already. Maybe I had a whole new name here. You know, maybe I want to call it large-websites. Okay? And then it would think that's what I want. But it's not. I want it to go there. So as long as you tell it, it's good with that. Now, the reality check is I just want it to match. Okay? So I'm going to create it. Boom. And it'll take a bit, but it will create it. And so when you do a new project, this is a good way to go. See how that's outlined? building-websites.mojipro.com.
com and that's exactly the point and they just got it done so it's going to exist I will be able to see it on a browser except I probably can't see it yet it's probably a few minutes too soon it takes time for all this stuff to propagate yeah it's not there yet but it will be there because there was a page there it will happen so let me go back because I want to do another one what's the other one I want to do my other project rename Control C to copy, cancel out of there, down, just stick it here and stick it here. Oops, I forgot it kind of like does it by itself. Boom, don't need to stick it there. Hit create. Okay, and that one's going to be done. And then I'm obviously going to do the same with the subdomain. So it's going to be done with that. And then next time, I may as well do it now. Moji-pro.com, put it there click here and that's it and so it's going to create it and then I'll do the same with the other one which was building websites which I can just snatch real fast again from here rename control C cancel minimize go back see how efficient that is make sure it's the right one moji dash pro this time create and that's just cool. Now, this means you have a greater chance of showing up at the top of Google for your keywords. Whatever keyword stuff Google pulls off your pages and says you're related for, which obviously includes concepts related to building websites, right? That's our whole thing. So I'm done with that one. I can go do it with the other one real quick. What was my other one? That was the whole this one. Log in. Again, this doesn't take long. You'll get used to it so fast, right? So let me just go to my C panel. Just kind of showing you again. C panel, subdomains, whatever I put here. Control V, building websites. Now stick it on that one. And it'll create it. And then come back and do the other one. You guys get the point. I mean, I'm just sort of duplicating effort here. I could even pause and um, just show you again. Building websites now. Okay. Building websites now. And then internet advertising is the other one. Only thing is just keep track of them as you go. It will show you your list, so you will always see it. Okay, and it did show you the subdomain one in the beginning, right? That was the internet advertising, so let me do that. Rename, control C, cancel, minimize, there. And that was for, let me see, oh yeah, both of them. And then go back and do the other one. and then go back okay so it's all there and I can see them all so I can keep track of all the projects I've done or not done that kind of thing right it's not a redirection it's not supposed to redirect it just goes to the document root okay and so all that stuff is perfectly good now the question becomes how do I make my sitemaps better to go along with this because now that I have all these links they all work going deeper and deeper okay um, let me see if I can make sense of that really really fast uh, let me come back to this because that's where all my stuff is. So let's say instead of Moji Pro, and let's see if it came up yet. I went internet dash advertising dot Moji Pro. Okay. And now you see the page did show up. Okay. It's right there. It's here with related links. There is no reason I can't update these to, to take advantage of the new format. And for the TXT version, the one that gets submitted to Google, which we haven't done yet, we're, we can also take exact advantage of that as well. So we can actually update all of these things to be exactly the way we want for these subdomains if we want to take that extra step. Is it necessary? No. Uh, does it just help? Yeah. So if you get it in your head that you're willing to do it, you can do this website by website pretty pretty quickly so how would I do it in my building websites folder for instance I can start here okay I got a sitemap and I got a sitemap I'm gonna download them I'm just gonna show you an example with one you can go on forever with this all you want I'm gonna edit this thing okay you're not gonna be able to read it but that's okay you don't need to exactly 
All I know is this. I want to do two steps. I've got to do two steps to pull it off. One is to get rid of the folder name, the main folder name. All right, and it's got to be like that. And I better be exact. So let me just go like this. Mojipro.com slash building dash websites. Copy, edit, replace. And I'm going to replace all that with just dot com slash. Okay. Oh, I don't need to replace it with a slash. It's going to have two slashes in the end. Just dot com. Okay, and I can replace all. Wow, and it just took everything out. Now that sounds crazy. I just broke all my links. But guess what I can replace now? www.moji- or Moji Pro becomes what now? So that's going to be same thing but building dash websites, right? Because that's how we set it up. Dot Moji Pro. Replace all. I just did it. Isn't that neat? Yep, it is neat. Same thing with this one. Two changes. Get rid of this. Control C, Control H. Just trying to be exact here so I don't accidentally get rid of anything else. Dot com uh, slash. Because I did include the slash at the end, so I need it here. Replace all. That took that down. And then wherever it said www.mojipro. Control C. It's going to be building dash websites. Dot Moji Pro, right? And that's done. It looks right and everything's good to go. So I'm going to upload that. Upload. Over right. And that way, when I go to one of those pages now, Watch how that looks. So now let's get into our build, building websites links, which we included on the main page. I can go straight to the sitemap, and guess what I see? All of these building dash websites dot right with the whole link drawn all the way out. It will work. See, and that's my building dash websites dot. Could I do this with all my sitemaps in all those subcategories and everything else? Yes. I could do it with the sitemaps in here. All of these side menu links. What's that mean? That means the ones on those side menus. These. The sitemap that's here, for instance. I could even do them all at once with the search and replace tool if I download all these things somehow, rename them or add names or whatever. Um, it's extra work, but it's worthwhile. It's really cool. It never did need to. It's just it is stronger. So it's very nice to do little things like that. It's a very good idea. And that way, when you submit your sitemaps to Google, then Google sees what you're doing, and it likes that. It likes that kind of organization. So that's a really cool way to pull things off. All right. I hope you enjoy that. That's the end of this one. In the next one, we'll talk about adding uh, websites, actually uploading the websites I'm sorry, the sitemaps to Google Webmasters. So we'll talk about how to get a Google account, how to get into Google Webmasters, and how to verify a site and upload a sitemap. It's all pretty quick, and you'll like it. <laughs> and that's just things to get things done. Okay.